Good evening. Welcome to the class of 2019 High Point graduation. If we could all rise for the singing of the national anthem by the senior members of our chamber singers. Beautiful job by our chamber singers. Thank you very much. I'd like to welcome to the podium our Executive Student Council President, Mr. Nick Thomas. Hello, good evening, and welcome, everyone. I'm Nick Thomas, the student body president of 2019. Thank you all for joining us here at High Point Regional High School for the graduation of the class of 2019. Today marks an interesting day for everyone moving forward over the coming years. For students, is the last day of our high school experience, a day that seemed so distant during freshman orientation. But today is also the beginning of our journeys as High Point alumni throughout the real world. For our parents and family, the closure of our high school years ends an era of support, education, and childhood as we embark upon our various life paths away from youth. And for High Point's teachers, administrators, and staff, this graduation results in the departure of the finest class of students this establishment has yet to educate. Our lives are made of moments. They always have and always will. We reminisce upon the past and dream about the future. However, however we rarely stop our days of memories and premonitions to live in the present. The past is solidified and the future is unpredictable. All we can do is be here, right now. In a week, month, decade, this graduation will be only a distant thought, packed deep within the brain behind some old memories of the panic we endured sophomore year, experiencing block scheduling for the first time. <laughs> but to make our present moments memorable, that is the task we currently face. Take everything you can from the ceremony, as it will only ever occur once. Take a second to remember what you have been through to get here today. 13 years of formal education, 
2,340 days of school. That's 2,340 moments we have all seen. But how many can you really recall? Make this moment the best so far, but not the best to come. By doing so, I can assure you at least one memorable moment from school. Today is a monumentous event. It ranks among weddings and childbirth and is a defining moment for all of us. Since freshman year, the sole mission was to graduate, and now it's happening. Four years here at High Point, eight hours a day, five days a week. Over our high school education, we have unknowingly been working full-time jobs to graduate. But for what, you may ask? A piece of paper and a handshake? False. Our jobs have been simply to learn. Learn about history, math, science, English, but also learn about ourselves and the world around us. How each and every one plays a role in this confusing thing we call life. When you receive your diploma, the education does not stop. It just transitions from a state-mandated curriculum to a personal choice. So take that moment, before the ceremony is over, to think about the memories we've had and the moments we are about to make. Because in a few hours, this will be just another memory. Thank you. I'd like to welcome our student, our senior class president, Madison Cole. Good evening, family, friends, teachers, administration, and graduating class of 2019. I'm Madison Cole, and I had the honor of being the senior class president this past school year. Many of us can remember the first day of freshman year. Walking in, I, along with many of my classmates, were timid and scared. Meeting new people, something most of us hadn't had to do since kindergarten. But at the end of that first day, we were all sitting in the cafeteria, surrounded by unfamiliar faces. Mrs. Frisbee timed us to see how long it would take for us to line up in alphabetical order. Once we finally figured it out, she told us that these were the people who would be by our side as we walked at graduation, which would be here before we knew it. It's safe to say that we didn't believe her. Four years seemed like forever to new freshmen. And don't get me wrong, some weeks did feel like they would never end. But now that we're here in our caps and gowns, it's a fact that these past four years as a whole did fly by. As the days, weeks, months, and years passed, we have formed unbreakable bonds and friendships that will last forever. Now as we're sitting here, we have freshman orientation, whale watch, prom, senior formal, the dinner cruise, and park testing, all in our rearview mirrors. On any given day, if you look at the graduating class of 2019, you can see quite a variety of different types of people. We have farmers, musical prodigies, school record-breaking athletes, people heading to top-notch schools, unbelievable artists, and everyone in between. But when you look at us today, we look pretty similar, all in either a silver or red gown, all wearing a cap. Today, it doesn't matter how many AP classes we've taken, how many varsity letters we've earned, how many community service hours we have, or how many cords we have around our necks. What matters is that we all had the privilege to go to High Point Regional High School. We are all members of the graduating class of 2019, which is something to be proud of, no matter what you did these past four years. Most of us have grown up together and can't wait to get a break from good old Sussex County, but I encourage you all to remember where your roots are. I can't wait to see what our class accomplishes in the future. Whether I see it on social media or on TV, I know everyone here will go on to do great things. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2019. Graduates need to remind you, let's be Respectful for the speakers that are up here that have worked hard in their speeches and not pass around balloons. <laughs> Thanks.
Okay, um, a couple of addendums and changes we had to make, obviously, from being inside, so your program is a little bit different for some of the music and choral selections, unfortunately, in terms of what we can do inside for our facilities. So our next student address is our Class of 2019 salutatorian, Zach Katterman. Greetings. Let me just start by expressing gratitude on the behalf of the class of 2019. Thank you to the parents for supporting us along the way, for driving us to and from sports and concerts and class trips. Thank you to the teachers for your dedication, for the emails answered at 10 o'clock on a Friday, the study sessions before, during, and after school, and for being coaches and club advisors. Thank you to the administration for working both visibly and behind the scenes to make every day, every week, and every year run as smoothly as possible here at High Point. None of us would be here where we are today without all of you. Now, at this moment, I probably could have used a Dr. Seuss quote. However, I've decided to spare you all the cliche. And instead, I have a request for you, the class of 2019, and that is, don't forget. From this day on, we'll be on diverging paths, and we'll meet new people and do new things. All that's pretty good. It means we'll be growing a lot. But wherever you go and whatever you do, I want you to always ask yourself this same question that Iroh from the Avatar The Last Airbender TV show once asked his nephew. Who are you, and what do you want? Please, don't forget your dreams and ambitions that you have now graduating on this stage of your life, as many people end up doing. Cling to them, develop them, nurture them, and one day you will see them realized. Now, it is often said, if your career is something you love doing, you won't do a day of work in your life, and I've always found that to be pretty misleading. It seems that we have to do quite a lot of work, at least to get to that point. Even to get here, it's been a pretty good amount of work, I can tell you that, and still more ahead. For many of us, it'll be years and years before we find that career which satisfies us to the core of our being. Some of us may have already found it. Some of us may never, unfortunately. But only one thing is for certain. If you decide that your search for purpose is over when it's not, if you take the easy way out and give up on yourself, you'll never get where you're meant to go. And even once you do get there, you gotta keep fighting for it. Remember, there's always a bigger fish. So push forward, High Point into uncertain futures, into student debt, into new adventures. <laughs> Push forward into new adventures and new opportunities. Go forth to the world and do what you may. But don't forget your dreams and don't forget yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Zach, and congratulations. Next, we're going to have our valedictorian speech, Mr. John Kapmeyer. Hello there. It is an honor to be standing here today in front of this class of amazing people. Having this opportunity is a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Nearly 30 years ago, the spacecraft Voyager 1 was finishing its, journey through the lo its long journey through the solar system. Astronomer Carl Sagan convinced NASA to turn Voyager's cameras around to take one last picture of the Earth before it left forever. This iconic photograph shows the Earth as a mere point of blue light, which Sagan famously called the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. In many ways, what we're doing here today is quite similar to that event. We will be traveling away from High Point, whether that be to college, the military, or the workforce. And like Voyager, we are taking a moment to look back at the home we have known so well for the past four years. It feels like a lifetime ago when we first entered high school, frantically searching for the location of our first period class and learning how to open our lockers. Walking into a new building, seeing new faces, and starting a new chapter in our lives was all quite nerve-wracking for many of us. 
After all, we had no idea what to expect. While we were nervous, we were also excited and hopeful for what high school would have in store for us. It is true that reality is often disappointing, but I can assure you that these last years certainly were not. Those new faces became more familiar, and soon enough, they became some of our closest friends. We began to develop a sense of pride in our school with every practice, club meeting, class election, and game. Through camaraderie at events like the Whale Watch trip, junior prom, the senior formal, and the senior dinner cruise, we became the class of 2019. I would like to thank our administration, support staff, and teachers for the amazing education provided here at High Point. We have learned valuable lessons that can be used for the rest of our lives. Thanks to our business and social studies teachers, we have learned how our society functions. Thanks to our science, math, and technology teachers, we have learned to think critically about the natural world. Thanks to our physical education teachers and coaches, we have learned to stay healthy throughout our lives. Thanks to our fine, performing, and language arts teachers, we have learned to express ourselves. Thanks to our foreign language teachers, we have learned to appreciate other cultures. Many of us are now going off to pursue careers in the arts, science, engineering, criminal justice, and education because of the teachers and classes here at High Point. However, the most important people we have to thank today are our parents. Nobody has had a bigger impact on us than they have. It is because of their love and support that we are sitting here today. Take a moment to think about all your parents have done for you these past four years. If we listed everything they have done for us, we had missed project graduation. And so, as we go in our separate ways, don't forget to take a moment to look back at where we came from, and most importantly, who helped us get there along the way. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2019. Next we're, honored to, next, we're honored to have a honorary alumnus address from our class of 2011 graduate and also current Baltimore Raven, Nick Boyle. Good evening. Welcome faculty, family, friends, and most importantly, you graduates. My name is Nick Boyle, and it's a true honor to be in front of you guys here to speak to you. Why Mr. Talmay asked me to do it, I really don't know. <laughs> um, I thought about whether I should do it or not, and uh, in the goodness of my heart, and I, I thought it was the right thing to do, I, I had to text back Mr. Talmay and say yes. When I was here at High Point, I really don't think I did anything spectacular. Like, for example, I didn't finish first in my class. I for sure didn't get all A's. And I didn't even get MVP for the football team when I was here. However, High Point surrounded me with unbelievable teachers, coaches, and friends that helped mold me to the person I am today. 11 years ago, I was a freshman walking the halls probably weighing about 175 pounds, thinking to myself, how am I gonna tell my parents about this bad progress report? <laughs> I don't know if you guys now, do you guys, you guys can check them all the time, right? Online, yeah, I see some heads nodding. Well, thankfully, back then, they got sent home in the mail. So quick story, we have time. <laughs> so I ran home in the mail that day, got it out of the mailbox with my best friend. I was looking through, high point regional, his gotcha. Should I burn it? No. <laughs> my genius idea, me and my best friend, went into the woods in my backyard and I buried it. So, <laughs> so mom and dad, you know that progress report? I said that probably got lost in the mail. I think it's probably still in the backyard. <laughs> anyway, four years later, I went on to Delaware where I earned a scholarship to play football. I was there for three and a half years and I was blessed at that point to be drafted by the Baltimore Ravens. Throughout that 11-year period, I've learned more about life's ups and downs than I can have imagined. 
I've had extreme highs where nothing could go wrong, followed by what felt like rock bottom lows where I didn't know where my future held. Therefore, I'd like to share just two simple concepts that I use in my everyday life. These ideas have got me where I am today and they have been composed from lessons I have learned from people and everyone who has impacted my life. Number one, attack every day as its own. Don't let yesterday ruin today and don't let tomorrow distract you from what is here today. Coach Harbaugh, my current head football coach for the Ravens, uses a bunch of acronyms, but the only one I found important was WIN. This stands for what's important now. I use this in my lifetime, life all the time. While at work, it distracts me from thinking what's to come and allows myself to focus on what matters at that very moment. It allows me to obtain short-term goals that eventually stack up and add to something very rewarding and meaningful. So what's win for you guys right now? Enjoying this moment, enjoying graduation, looking at the stands and seeing people who are here to support you, whether it's family, friends, grandpas, grandpas, or grandmas, uncles, aunts. This is a moment you guys should really look around and cherish because this is a moment you'll remember forever. Secondly, be humble. It seems simple, but being in the NFL, I've seen many different types of people. Sometimes when people have success, it tends to alter their character. Some think they're defined by how much money they have, what car they drive, or even by the number of followers they have on Instagram. I believe that the only thing that defines who you are is how you treat others regardless of your status in life. Whether that person may be, you know, lower than you, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> How you treat others that may be less fortunate, or how you treat others who may not reciprocate the kindness that you give to them. Being humble is something I take pride in and has been taught to me from a very young age. My parents made sure to reiterate that doing a good deed or being a good friend to someone is much more important than having a really nice car or having new shoes. This is a vital quality I hold close to my heart. So regardless of your path in life, whether it be going to Harvard, community college, trade school, or taking over your family's business, I want to emphasize that attacking each day separately and being humble will take you on an amazing journey. I will encourage you all to do what you love, take pride in what you do, and remember that acronym WIN when you may be feeling lost or discouraged. Thank you all for your attention. Congrats to the class of 2000 and 19. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Nick, for that inspirational message. Uh, also, thank you that we've now graduated to electronic grades, so that uh, hopefully takes away that excuse. Um, next, we're going to have our musical selection by the senior members of Concert Choir.
Can we get another round of applause for our, our choir? Very well done, thank you. Good evening. Welcome to the class of 2019 graduation. A special thank you to members of our Board of Education, Dr. Ripley, fellow administrators, faculty members, honored guests, and most importantly, the class of 2019 and their family and friends. As a culminating activity, graduation truly is a team effort. This beautiful ceremony would not be possible without my administrative assistant, Ms. Janet Brummel, the custodial grounds and maintenance crews, and the audio and visual support of Mr. Perry and Mr. Fenlon. Can we please give them a big round of applause? Congratulations to our parents, our grandparents, aunts, uncles, and all of the family members. 
There are so many mixed emotions today as we close one chapter and your sons and daughters prepare to embark on another one. Congratulations to our retiring staff. Unfortunately, with being inside, our staff cannot stay because of seating. We want to give all the seats for the family. But congratulations to Mrs. Sutton, Mrs. Frisbee, Mr. Blevins, Ms. McAllister, Mr. Horner, Mrs. Horner, Mrs. Witt, Mrs. Bittler, Mr. Schultz, and Mrs. Ray. A big round of applause for our retiring staff. We thank you for our dedication to our staff for so many years, and we wish you nothing but the best in your next chapters. Congratulations to our staff for another successful graduating class. You have played such an important role in the lives of this class. Our staff is caring, compassionate, and dedicated to our students every day. And I am honored to walk alongside them every day. Thank you. Now to the important people, class of 2019. Yeah, let's give it a shout out. I finally let it get him out of the system, it's much better. Okay. My mom used to always tell me, the days go slow, but the years go fast. As a child growing up, I had no idea what she was talking about. My mom has been gone for nine and a half years now. As a father, I see what she is talking about every day when I see my girls. It's the same thing that your parents see when they are looking at you today. Take a moment right now. Find your family and friends in the crowd. Make eye contact. Give them a wave. At some point, at some point soon, thank your parents and your family. Tell them you love them because the years will continue to go fast. As your principal, I look at this position as a father will look at their own sons and daughters. As we just celebrated Father's Day, what does a father want to say to his students? I love you. I'm so proud of you. Keep working hard. Treat everyone with respect. Lead with character and integrity. Accolades and awards are nice, but they don't define who you are. Fail forward. We all make mistakes. How you get up and don't make the same mistake is when our character is forged. And most importantly, be kind. But I have said so those things so many times. And those are all things I want you to hold on to. But as a father looking out over our seniors today, what do I want you to hear? I recently heard an excerpt from Maria Shriver's book, Just Who Will You Be? As you go down the road, as you see what you see, you'll keep right on learning. Just who will you be? Everyone's life is an uncharted course, so go out and live it without regret or remorse. Take time to be quiet. Hear what your own voice is. Learn who you are by making good choices. So class of 2019, what do you believe? Who do you want to be? And listen to your own voice. Seniors, I want you to hear tonight that I am so proud of you for getting a job, passing your classes to graduate, getting into the college you wanted, or enlisting in the military, taking as many AP classes as you can, leading the play, musical, choir, or band, being a conference, county, or state champ, or leading your team to one, being published in Calliope, or having your work recognized at Teen Arts, competing in mock trial, TSA, FBLA, DECA, or other activities, being inducted into the Honor Society of your favorite subject, or leading a school initiative or fundraiser like Tilly's Kids, Fill the Bus, County Chance, by the way, Fill the Bus, Play Pink, 
or eighth grade programs. But I also want you to hear that I do not believe that all these great things are who you want to be. They are just part of the journey for who you are to become. We often worry, will I fill my parents' expectations? What will my friends think of the school I'm going to or the job I'm starting? What will people think if I fail? As you sit here tonight, these may be questions that are swirling around in your head right now. But have you ever asked yourself these questions? What do you believe? How often do you listen to the voices, your voices, over the voices around you? Class 2019, I want you to hear it tonight. It will be what you believe in your heart that will continue to point you in the right direction. No matter how many times you fall down along the way, and believe me, you will fall down. Trust your heart and what you believe and get back up. It will be your voice you need to listen to when so many voices around you sound like noise. Follow your voice, follow your passions, make good choices, and it will guide you through the distractions and disruptions of the noise around you. As I look out over the class of 2019, my mom was right. The days will go slow, but the years will go fast. <clears throat> over the last four years, we have laughed together, we have cried together, and most importantly, we have grown together. I am so proud to be a small part of your journey. Make each day count for what you believe in. Make your voices heard along the way and continue to find your path for who you want to be. Class 2019, I'm so proud of who you are every day. You will do great things. May God bless you. Now I'd like to introduce the superintendent, Dr. Scott Ripley. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to your gymnasium, your school, your facility. And it is yours, and uh, we are hopeful that it is something in which you can take pride. Congratulations to our graduates, to our families, and to our community. And thank you to all the educators who have poured out their lives so that these young men and women before us have a future and a hope for themselves. Thank you. To our graduates, whether you are here today wearing gold tassels, cords, medals, or a decorated hat, you are all wearing a gown of honor and distinction, signifying your achievement. Whether that achievement comes with public accolades and awards or private honor for having overcome hardships of which few others are aware, it is achievement about which you should be very proud, about which the others in this room are very proud. Appreciate that moment. You will not feel that for the rest of your life. There are moments when you should appreciate and realize that the people around whom you currently are love you and are proud of you. Enjoy that moment. You are in a room of those who love you and are proud of you. They cherish you, they adore you. Every single one of you in this room is cherished and adored. Comparing life's proverbial cords and hats however, does not serve to edify or ennoble. Be sure to spend far less effort and investment of time and thought in comparing yourself to others, for which we have not the slightest context or content by which to compare. Each of you will be challenged to overcome your own world, your own struggles, your own weaknesses, fears, even your own strengths. You should not, however, make any attempt to overcome those of another. Know that you are the masterpiece of creation, unique, precious, beautiful, important, and valuable, and that there are plans for your future, plans for good and not for disaster, plans for a future filled with a hope and success and not of suffering. You will find peace, joy, purpose and meaning in your future. Purpose 
is why you have been blessed with and invested these past 13 years of education to live a purpose-driven life. Well done to you all. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Ripley. At this point in the program, it's our time for the presentation of diplomas by Dr. Kehoe, our board president, and Dr. Ripley. Uh, graduates, your time to shine. For those in the audience, we ask that you do give respect for the names that are being read so every family member has a chance to hear the names of their, their graduates as they come forward. So we're going to invite Mrs. Moss up to the stand. John Arthur Kappelmeyer. Zachary Edward Catterman. Nicholas Allen Thomas. Maximilian Martin Arendt. Jason Matthew Albrecht. Augustine Abulescu. Matthew George Amick. Mark Antico. Samuel Pete Armstrong. Nicholas Matthew Auer. Vincent Joseph Alisi. Mason Isaiah Blair. Spencer Thomas Both. Jacob Riley Bottoms. Matthew Robert Boyd Howie. Kyle Anthony Buccino. Joseph Jonathan Burke. Jason Donald Bush. Tristan Lewis Caffrey. Jacob Lee Carter. Matthew Gibson Carter. Anthony Manuel Centeno. Jarek Michael Cintron. Jade Robert Connors. Brian David Cox. Noah Tyler Cruz. Christopher Joseph DeAngelo. Cole Robert Danielson. Richard Burgess Davies III. Matthew Thomas Dragon. Peter Nelson Drew. Madison Helen Cole. Amanda Grace Agney. Julie Ann Bacon. Colleen Elizabeth Badrow. 
Gabrielle Paige Bichotta. Mackenzie Lynn Begott. Abigail Pauline Block. Haley Victoria Britt. Sage Jesse Brousseau. Alina Madison Bouchel. Kristen Alyssa Burse. Isabel Lynn Chase. Anna Chang. Jordan Joanne Sissio. Kayla Michelle Klink. Sydney Nicole Cope. Brittany Kelly Curtis. Kylie Mary DeFeo. Julia Rose DeMario. Chelsea Ann DeWall Malafite. Ashley Lynn Dixon. Wendy Dong. Brooke Madison Fahey. Madeline Taylor Fincera. Julia Ann Feldman. Kate Bridget Finnegan. Kalissa Lauren Gachter. Shana Marie Gardner. Athena Rachel Garrison. Samantha May Gasparini. Marin Elizabeth Gomez. Jake Alexander Dupont. Davis Aaron Dvorak. Brandon Marty Dornikowski. Jason Captain Edwards. Alec James Elia. Cody Jacob Farishon. Vincent Michael Ficino. Devin Thomas Flannery. Connor Cyrus Fountain. Jordan Ryder Fox. Ryan Christopher Freeman. Chad Arthur Frisbee. Zachary Bennett Gardner. Logan Donald Geisels. Storm Andrew Grouchek. Ezra Ezekiel Renard Green. Charles Remington Hawtaw. Brandon James Hammer. Jacob Lee Hendrickson. John Michael Hoffman. Eric Thomas Honnold. Benjamin Anthony Intilly. Dakshin Kanan. George Michael Kisak. Jacob Daniel King. Dominic Anthony Kozlowski. 
Brandon Seely LaRue. Samuel Logan Lover. Christopher Santino Lazorchek. Henry James Lembo II. Juliana Gaitanina Grisafi. <laughs> Catherine Ann Grubeck. Sarah Michelle Haas. Gabrielle Jane Haggerty. Jacqueline Rose Harnett. Taylor Lee Hammer. Harley Ann Henningsen. Amy Hermesia. Jean Marie Hicks. Haley Noel Jennings. Athena Rita Kalos. Megan Corby Kelleher. Morgan Denise Kravat. Elise Rosemary Keel. Lillian Nanette Kornmeyer. Elena Daria Krawick. Jillian Rose Cook. <laughs> Leah Jeanette Lachance. <laughs> Araline Landa Martinez. <laughs> Catherine Leal. <laughs> Morgan Page Lordy. <laughs> Gabriella Lorente. Chelsea Ann Love. Jalen Lugo. Kirsten Lynn McMillan. Marissa Nicole Maggio. Haley Morgan McGill. Julianne Wingle Mangano. Victoria Ryan Massar. Peyton Marie McGuire. Caitlin R. McNeely. Harold William Leslie IV. Andrew Joseph Lewis. Jacob Tyler Lazinski. Justin Robert Lazinski. Antonio Lawrence Lombardo. Tyler John Mashuga. Devin T. Mahabir. Avian Sumari Marsh. Brian Wolf Matthews. Sean M. Matthews. Zachary C. Mazza. 
Jake T. McGee. Jack McDevitt McKernan. Ray K. Thomas Milan. Rudy Millord. Andrew Anthony Misiak. Dustin, Dustin M. Morgan. Benjamin J. Morrison. Jonathan B. Morris. Shane Robert Murmur. Anthony Jeffrey Novick. Luke Michael Ottens. William Joseph Pastore. Preston Christopher Peoples. Todd Dale Fister. Ryan Evan Paust. Brandon Mark Rakowski. David L. Regling. Hunter Riker. Gabriel Rodriguez. Frank William Roman. Ariana S. Meneses. Brielle A. Morris. Madison Rose Muller. Taylor Erica Muser. Marika Carol Niehoff. Christiana Victoria Perez. Audrey Priscilla Permunion. Nishe S. Peru. Samantha Kim Price. Gabrielle Renee Ramaglino. Kelsey Nicole Rates. Amy Suzanne Risden. Jasmine Rodriguez. Michaela Grace Sales. Nicole Patricia Shiaka. Alyssa Marie May Scribner. Kendra Elizabeth Chirac. Shaquilla Sophia Shinkovitz. Brianna Olivia Simsek. Vanessa Marie Sinecor. Madison Susan Smolin. Morgan Ann Smolin. Hannah Lee Suter. Brittany Elizabeth Stanton. Alyssa Charlotte Sullivan. Shagun Surrey. Katrina Ann Salozzi. Gianna Rose Terranova. Rachel Laura Terzi. Michaela Rose Thiessen. 
Donna Lynn Thompson. Dante Christopher Romero. Tyler Ross. Marquise Shri Rupal. Grayson William Sabo. Ethan Nathaniel Salerno. Griffin Donald Sandberg. William Logan Scheid. Ethan Scott Skipper. Aaron Park Seward. Tyler Jeffrey Shore. Lucas Silva. Gavin Matthew Sleet. Nicholas Theodore Sunday. Bradley John Lance Steiger. Ethan Dutch Swartz. Callahan Eduardo Sibesma. Kyle Robert Takis. Joshua Joseph Traficante. Ty Charles Tobito. Matthew Gerald Umstead. Santino Anthony Van Hooker. Jason Lee Van Horn Jr. Justin Patrick Van Warner. Hakeem H. Varga. Tristan Martin Vealy. Brandon Alexander Michael Walsh. Austin Paul Wanamaker. Colin Ronald Westerkamp. Liam Michael Whitaker. Cameron Lawrence Wormuth. Robert Nicholas Zwizart. Victoria S. Van Houten. Keisha A. Varga. Destiny Vaughn. Jasenia Anias Velez. Lauren Elizabeth Weiss. Caitlin Rose White. Catherine Aida Williams. Tyra Grayson Wingle.
By virtue of the power invested in me by the Board of Education as principal of High Point Regional High School, I certify that here in front of you, the graduates here today have successfully completed their graduation requirements as stipulated by High Point Regional High School and New Jersey Board of Education. Class 2019, please rise. Let's flip our tassels and toss our caps. Congratulations, Class of 2019. Make sure you grab your caps before we cease out, right? Just stay here, Todd.